Hi friends, this is Susan Smith with Steam Creatively and I have a class. It's called Current to Christmas. It's going to feature this designer series paper from the annual catalog. It's actually a carryover and it's one of my favorites because it has all kinds of text, what I would call texture patterns. And I've used it a ton. This is like my scrap pile. Um, it's become one of my go-to designer series papers when I need something that's a little bit different. So uh, it the, ca the class is going to use that designer series paper. You have a choice of these or you don't have to use any of these at all. You can buy the ideas. What I'm going to do is it's going to have the In Good Taste designer series paper. It's got the soft succulent. Um, the pretty ribbon. You'll get the in color jewels, which are these fantastic things. And then um, a trio punch or a punch if you want a different punch. That's totally up to you. But the class is $75. Then you have an option of purchasing one of these bundles. This bundle, which is the season's blessing, comes with some fantastic dies. And this bundle evergreen elegance comes with a punch and I don't know it's got fantastic pine trees okay then if you order one of the bundles you'll get some envelopes if you order both of them you'll get whisper white cardstock so I'm gonna have all of that um, attached in this but what I wanted to show you was I had this idea a lot of people talk about Christmas in July which is fantastic but I wanted you to to show you some things that in the current catalog that will take you from current to Christmas and then show you my ideas up with the projects or with the product um, with just a fun cut and then what I made with it and then what you can do with it in the other season. I know that sounded confusing even to my ears, but let me show you. I'm a better shower than teller. So what I did was I took my soft succulent cardstock. I cut it four and a quarter. Then I cut off these pieces and when you sign up for the class, you get videos and measurements for six cards. So all of this would be measured out for you. But I want to create quickly so I don't want to take all the time to measure and give you all the measurements. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the designer series paper. It has two sides. I'm using this side this time. And I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to take the exact same piece. And if you wonder why I'm stamping on this, um, this is a white sheet of cop, just copier paper. I pulled it out because I needed to stay in my square. <laughs> and I needed a little bit, a lot of times I use the um, pretty pieces that we get from the um, Stamparatus. And I decided I wanted to use something different. This trio punch is fantastic. Um, we always wanted a good corner render. You put this right in here and it rounds perfectly every time and it's not a hard push. So I'm just pushing my hand right there in the middle. That's the key. If you push over here, it doesn't work. If you push your hand right in the middle, you get a perfect corner rounder every time. Little pile of contraband. I have a calico cat named Violet and she is decided she's going to show you how pretty she is like she's mistreated and nobody pays any attention to her this is miss violet violet you need to get down i'm working she may come back she's that kind of kitty okay so now i'm gonna put that on there i have taken one of the dies from this is one of my favorite die sets from the catalog and it's the um scalloped contour dies and i love them they have the um, one that has the slit in it. That's one of my favorites. And this one doesn't have the slit. I kind of wish it did, but it doesn't. So I'm going to stamp on this. First, I want to attach this. I'm going to hear it right here to the top of my card. One of my friends just messaged me. Um, she doesn't know I'm on camera in she just messaged to me um, about a paper pumpkin because her paper pumpkins are here. Mine are still in Salt Lake City. How that's fair, I have no idea. 
I should have answered her on camera. So I'm going to take the leaf. Again, the stamps that I'm working with now is the Season's Blessing. It's got this pretty leaf. I'm going to stamp that right on my Whisper White that I ran through with the contour die. I love that contour die because I got two of them out of a quarter sheet of cardstock. So that's always a good die when it doesn't waste my paper. Oh, it's so pretty. This is, I'm using the soft succulent um, ink. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to add some ribbon. This is that pretty um, soft succulent ribbon that you would get in the... <laughs> I think I like it because I'm out again. I think that's my third bolt so far. I'm going to tie this bow down here. I normally leave my um, ribbon on the bolt when I tie it, but because there was such a little bit, it came off all by itself. Snip this off. Okay, so now I've got this cute little design. Let's zoom in so you can see it just a little bit better. Okay, now you can see my ink. <laughs> Again, I need to stay in my wheelhouse. So I wanna make this a um, Christmas card this time. So I think on this piece, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment, which is season's greetings. Right there across the bottom. Get back in my wheelhouse right there. Oh, why is that backwards? You guys don't want to see me backwards. Oh, now you can see my words. Okay, there's the season's greetings. I hadn't even noticed that. Bad stamper. Okay, now we're going to put these in the corner. And then I have pre-stamped. some of these pretty flowers to stick over here. Oh look, so pretty. Violet, here she comes again if you see a kitty tail. Sorry. Now I'm gonna put some of these flowers down. So I've taken the flowers that come in the Season's Blessing stamp set and I have pre-done them for us. I'm gonna scooch this over, pre-done them for us. Um, I did, I stamped them off. I used Cherry Cobbler, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to like the best. I kind of like them both. But I like to manipulate my flowers, so you can either manipulate them this way, or you can snip them in a little bit. And that adds some dimension. Stampin' Up's given us these little lines where you can cut some of that out, and that'll also give it some dimension. So I am going to rough these up a little bit. And I'm going to put some seal right here. Oh, I have glue dots. I can use a glue dot too. And then I'm going to, again, I'm going to rough up, rough up this flower. When I zoom out, you will see Violet sitting right here beside me, just barely off camera. <laughs> so then I'm going to do this one again. put this on and so I did the opposites so this is this the full um, ink and the stamp off and this other one is the stamp off and full ink I mean how pretty is that oh this one's this one's down a little bit lower than what I like I'm gonna move it up so I'm gonna put it up there because I got this space that doesn't have anything oh jewels jewels I almost forgot I have these pretty these are going to take care of my space issues. Okay, so I took a designer series paper that you might not have thought was Christmas, and I've made this pretty card. Now let me show you the other card that I did using the exact same thing. See, here's Violet right here in my mix. You're on my card. Okay. So I used the exact same design 
and so this is my current to Christmas and this designer series paper is the back side of this one okay so that's the one I did with the um, season's blessings and now I'm going to do one with the other stamp set this one the one that is called there she is again violet Michelle back 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 come on she's gonna get hair in my ink here in a minute sometimes she steps on my glue dots okay so now with this one same fold I'm going to use my pretty bone folder from the Wonder Basement. I'm going to use this designer series paper again. Again, there's the brick side. So now I'm going to show you the other side. And it has, I know it's really hard for you to see, but there's what looks like texture to it too. It looks like plaster with texture. It's really very pretty. So what I did with this one, so I've adhesive that down. Now I took my three evergreen 3D embossing folder. I'm gonna round my corners again. Again, the corner found the corner rounder is no fail, which we need that. I mean, and you can see the texture. See those pretty pine trees? Well, it all matches because Stampin' Up! makes it match for us. They make it sit, make her job so easy. Sometimes. So I'm going to use this exact same die again. Okay. And I am going to use my evergreens. Here she comes again, right in the middle. And I'm going to stamp this evergreen off a couple of times. So you can see it graduated. And then this one, I'm going to add full strength. Uh, let me put another one over here. Just because I can. Love those evergreens. And I'm going to put it right on top of here. And I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to stop right there because I am always looking. This isn't a perfect card where I could add with sympathy or thinking of you or any of those kind of sentiments that you need sometimes and you need the card to be pretty plain. So here is um, this card. Here it is with the gems. A holiday greeting in the ribbon again and then I took the punch and I used our pretty shimmer vellum and added some pine trees at the bottom so I'm gonna have pictures of all of this for you I'm gonna add it here miss violet you just really think you need to be on camera so show everybody your pretty face let's show everyone your pretty face okay so this is miss violet look up there in the camera <laughs> She is, I got her before my grandson was born. My grandson's eight. So Miss Violet is eight. So there she is. She thinks she needs to be down here working with me. Today is no exception. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Um, I'll put all this information um, at the bottom of this and let me know. Oh, and the more of the details um, on the class will be on my blog. All right, have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, lucky you, you got Miss Violet this morning. Thanks, friends. Bye.